my situation. Oh, come on. Some Some people have a hard time believing that God can't even help them. Some people have a hard time believing, amen, that even a God exists. The Bible says, amen, the fool says there is no God. We live in a generation where people want, amen, uh, uh, they, 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 they want knowledge. They, 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 they want to know why this is real. They want to know uh, 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 history, why this is real. And, and the more they research it to try to put this Bible down, the more they find out uh, that this is lining up with yes. everything that's been recorded in history. The more people's been trying, uh, amen, to put Jesus uh, out of the picture, they're realizing he's always been. In the picture. And we're living in a generation who's trying to, and then to try to proclaim that they're doing everything on their own. But when they come down to the place of their life, they realize, and then only Jesus is the one that can bring them up. And I'm here to tell you, I'm excited and then about believing that there is a God and that God loves and cares about my soul. Oh, That God can even help them. Right. Right. Come on. God don't understand my situation. God done this. And God done that. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verses 9 through 10. And then some of you give me a little uh, water back there. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verses 9 through 10. The thing that hath been is that which shall be and that which is done is that shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun. There is no new thing under the sun. Verse number 10. Is there anything is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? How many people thought they'd come across a situation that, come on now. well, this is brand new? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Every preacher that gets up and expresses something over the pulpit has probably already been expressed over the pulpit. That's right. Here's back by somebody else who had the same desire that they had. And then I and I tell you what, that's the kind of God that we serve today. And then Brother Courtney, you keep praying that prayer. God open my understanding. And then say to God, you need to pray that prayer. God open my understanding. Why? And then because you'll begin to understand that God really does know your situation. In Psalms chapter 3, verse 3, Jesus is your shield, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me and my glory and the lifter of mine head. Amen. In 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 47, he's the rock of my salvation. The Lord liveth and blessed be my rock and exalted be the God of the rock of my salvation. In Psalms 18, verse 2, he's our fortress. The Lord is my rock. Yeah. 
of the Holy Ghost. Come on. And then he shall bring forth the Son. 